Thanks for joining us at Reiko Rents again today. Uh, we're going to cover the uh, 3M Sound Pro, specifically going over the active band setup uh, and how to run your study to look at sound levels at specific frequencies. So the first thing I'll have you do is turn on your Sound Pro if it's not already turned on. And uh, we're going to go straight into the setup menu. So use the arrow keys to scroll down to setup and we want to check the meter set options just to make sure that our parameters are set. Um, there is another video on uh, the complete basic setup for uh, Sound Pro. Um, we'll make sure that our data logging is turned on. We want to specifically make sure that we have our active band filters turned on in order for it to save any of the uh, filter data. So once you have that set up, we'll hit the escape button again and we want to check the date and time and just make sure that that's set up correctly so that our data logs have correct timestamps. and once you have all of your basic setup taken care of if uh, you look at the bottom portion of the display when you're on the main menu screen you'll see on the bottom left corner it'll say either SLM 1 slash 1 or 1 slash 3 and that's going to indicate the type of study that you are trying to look at. Uh, for an SLM, it's just going to give you a basic sound level reading. Um, when you go and you change it to the 1-1, one, one, it gives you uh, some octave band filters. And on the reading screen, you can adjust the range um, lower or higher so that you can get better resolution on your sound level readings. Then if you wanted to get, to get even more octave band data, switching it to the one-third octave gives you a significantly larger view of what's going on with your sound levels. So once you're set uh, to either the one-one or the one-third octave, all you need to do at that point is press the start button. When you're done running your study, you go ahead and press the pause button, and then press and hold the stop button to save and clear to the memory card. Thanks for joining us at Reiko Rents again to uh, figure out the active band filters on your Sound Pro. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to give us a call or take a look at our website.